Alright folks, I think we're going to restart y'all. Got the Morrowind up, we got the coffee ready. Smoke rings are going to be active here soon. So sorry for the wait everybody, I know it took a while. Let's uh, real quick, we'll turn on the game music volume just a tad. There we go. I think that should be better. All right. So, here we go. All right, so this should be end of day four. Four twelve p.m., 9.24 p.m. Yeah. There it is. There it is, folks. Let the load begin. Okay, okay and so, so we, we did, did add some mods, mods to this. this. Just not a whole lot. Um, one of the mods that we added was the um, one where basically we make it so that any um, any like flowers or mushrooms or anything else, instead of opening them like a container, we automatically take it like you do in the newer games. So we'll test that when we're out and about. I know that we do have to get some mushrooms. So what we might do real quick is we might go, we'll head towards, oh, hold on, wait a second. We were doing, yeah, the Sudanit mine. Okay, so this is, we were still working, apparently we were still working on uh, some of our um, house Plalu stuff. Um, and this is one where we have the option to either just go talk to the people in Ebonheart, or we can go and um, destroy the mine itself. Hey, Bubba. Yes. Bring me the controller. My son's asking to watch another movie. All right, so look, ghost fence and all that crap, that's kind of dangerous. Let's, I think what we might do is take care of some of the first, because, okay, he needs, at first he'll ask for mushrooms, then he'll ask for flowers. <coughs> so, all right, let me see. Quick, be right back. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. That's adorable. My uh, son also wanted... My twin, one-year-old twin sons, one of them wanted to feed me his cereal. So, <laughs> took the extra seconds there to let him feed me some cereal. And this is going to be, considering the normal length of my streams, this is going to be a rather short one. Simply because... I've got to be off here by 3, 3.30. Oh, yeah, so we've got the immersive citizens. There's a drunkard. Did you say something? Nope, not particularly. Huh, <laughs> cool. And I think that's the 
the Morrowind Comes Alive um, mod. I'm pretty sure that's what that's from. But we've got a drunkard walking home late. <coughs> Fun enough. There is someone watching me. I can tell. Okay, so we'll head upstairs. We'll run. We'll go ahead and run while we're at it. Right up here. And we will start searching these for the flowers we need. And... Okay, so... I know that I'm pretty sure one of the ones that I need is a willow anther. Heather is one of them as well. And I just get the feeling I have gotten all of it. There's a willow anther. Stone flower. Let's let's see. Let's let's take a look at exactly what we need here. It's going to be way back. I know that much. Aha. Uh -huh. I just saw mushrooms. Okay, so... I'm going to write these down. Real quick, like... Let's see here. In the back. Let's see. Okay. We've got, uh-oh, where'd our pins go? I had a million and a half pins. Now it's gone. They're gone. They're all gone. Okay, okay here's the pencil. This works. All, all right, right, so we need, we need luminous. We need violet. We need bungler's bane. And hypophasia. I'm pretty sure we have at least three of these here. So let's see. Not in this one. Is it in this one? This Rosala. Pow, pow. Take one of those. Okay, we can... We got the luminous. There's the violet. Pretty sure that's hound meat and rat meat, yes. Okay. So it's the it's it's the other ones, hypophasia, that I also don't have. I'm pretty sure he's going to want a heather. Now, what's interesting to me about this... Some flower petals. I'll take one of those. Wick wheat's not one of them. Okay. All right. So we still need. All right. I got the violet. So then we still need bungler's bane and hypophasia. right out front here and what we'll do is we'll go straight to um Saint Amin, I think who's this guy I think that's from uh, Morrowind Comes Alive. I think. 
This drunkard certainly is. You just make the same rounds over and over again, don't you? Silly drunkard. Well. Alright, let's see. Let's travel to Sedanine. Oh man, the weather here is awful. Yikes. Now, I'm pretty sure Hypophasia and Bungler's Bane are pretty much right here on these trees. If not this tree, then I know which one. The place where we found the, um... Oh, hold on. Those game sounds. Oof, those game sounds are loud. Okay, there we go. All right, any hoodie. Bungler's Bane and Hypophasia, they grow on most of these trees over here. Just not that one. Okay, well... I'm just going to check here real quick. And if this is a no-go, then we'll use the boots of lightning speed. We'll move over to uh, the place where we found uh, the Pontius, I think is what his name was. Pontius something, or rather. I think it's this one right here. It has all four of them on it. Okay, there's the violet. And here's Hypophasia and Bungler's Bane, just like that. Oh, beautiful. I love it. Oh, wow, yeah. Now, now we can just gather them, literally. All right, so this is the thing, is that I don't want to head back there just to have to head back out again for flowers. So I wonder which flower, per se, I should be, which ones I should be going after. I've got Heather. I can't remember if it was Black Anther or Willow Anther from the first time I played. We'll just have to go back and return, turn these in, come back out. Because I'm not going to look it up. I'm not going to look it up. It's cheap. It's cheap to look it up. We'll just, no. Smoke rings going. Back to Balmora. Why walk when you can run? I'm just glad it's not raining here. Holy crap. <laughs> I love that. The drunkard stumbling around. Very cool. Did you see that? That rogue just literally disappeared. Is there something I can do for you? No, I'm just wondering who you were. Oh, hey, look, there's the rogue. It's your background. Interesting. I really like your 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 cloak, man. Wealth beyond measure, Arthaka. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like literally, they just say rogue. Oh man. I kind of want. Look, it's another rogue, isn't it? It is another rogue. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Got distracted by these cloaks. Alright, that's the Fighter's Guild. Let's go into the Matrix Guild. Let's return. Is there something you need? Let's turn in these mushrooms and we'll get our next quest from Ajari. Go mushrooms, yes. Yes, here they are. Cool. Well, okay, interesting. All right. Ajira made a bet with Gal with Galbadir that Ajira would be a journeyman before Galbadir. Now, Ajiri must study these mushrooms and write a report. Ajiri wants you to give Galbadir a fake soul gem. Take it and put it in Galbadir's desk upstairs. Galbadir should be coming downstairs to talk with Marana Duren, so no one will see you do this thing. Okay, I can dig it. Be to you. I'll say. <laughs> so this is usually, this is always the point in time. That I, How may I help you? steal all of this person's soul gems. Always. Every time. Every time. I steal them all. Let's put the fake soul gem in. Miscellaneous. Here's the fake soul gem. Put that in there, and we'll take these lesser soul gems. We'll take your candle, too. Origin of the Mages Guild by Archmage Salareth. Salarth. You, have, you had two candles on your desk, and that one's locked. Okay, well, we'll leave that one be, shall we? Simple enough. Bam! And now they must study flowers. Fakes is old gym. I sure did. Okay, what what about duties now? Local flowers. Gold cannon. Willow anther heather. Okay, all right. Let's let's write these down too. Let's write these down too. Oh, you're glaring at me. Ooh, I feel it. I can feel it. I feel the glare coming through. Oof, burning, burning it, burning into my soul. Hey, baby. Stone flower. Willow anther. And heather. All right, four flowers. We can do it. We can do this. So, so Rena Lou, while you're sitting, sitting here glaring at me. Um, you should be connecting your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and subscribing to your boyfriend, jerk lady. Also, I love you. So, there's that. Okay. All right. What is it, friend? What is it, friend? What is it, friend? Well... Apparently, it's time to go and collect flowers. Just real quick, let me check. We've got, we've got Heather. Do we have the stone flower? We've got that. And is the other one willow anther? It is a willow anther. Perfect. Okay, so we just need the gold canet. 
Okay, Debbie. <clears throat> Glad to know you're finishing up. Hold on, my son needs something. What's up, babe? What's up, Bubba? So, ta-da. Oh, look, and I'm just, I'm running into walls. My life's a mess. Got a long haul. Yeah, these rogues. I want, I want that, I want that cape. I want that cape and hood. And with your name just being rogue, I kind of want to persuade you to get yourself killed. Let's see. Let's taunt. 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 Hold on. I've got to find him another movie real quick. Just a second. My little babies are so cute. Okay. All right. Let's. I'm going to taunt this guy into fighting with me. And this is where I guess I should have added the um, personality overhaul mod because it's supposed to have changed the way you use persuasion when you're talking to these guys. And if you're not familiar with the old way, it's this. Click, fail, click, fail, click, fail, until you finally have a success. And then when you're taunting them, a successful taunt doesn't even get it for you. You've got, you've got to get a couple of successful taunts for them to take action. And so this right here is one of the most headache-inducing parts of this old game right here. Is the, is the system in which you have to to use for persuasion and stuff even when you have it at a hundred percent like you're you still don't seem to have success most of the time and the way that i understand how it would work anyway is that it's doing it by a percentage so be, for the simple fact that my speech craft skill is like 15 or 18 or something like that i have like an 18 percent chance to succeed which which, wow, on how unsuccessful that can be. Come on now. I haven't had one taunt success. Perhaps I will end yours. Hey, look, to 18, and then we got the level up, too. Oh, it still wasn't enough. Hold on. Let's talk to this guy with our sword out as we taunt him. So that way, when we do get a success that causes him to attack, we're ready. Not only that, but people like you less when you talk to them with your weapon out. So, since I have my weapon out, let's make this guy really not like us. I want your hood. I want your cloak. And you're a nameless rogue, so give it to me. Perhaps I will end yours. Yeah, or so you say. Let's see it, buddy. What you got, punk? 
this guy. This guy. He doesn't even know. Come on, man. I'm ready. Perhaps I will end yours. Perhaps. Perhaps. Come on, punk. Let's do this. Click, 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 click. And if I had, oh, okay, not if I had, I have a controller. That doesn't seem to actually work for this game, but it'll work for Fallout 3 and for um, Skyrim. I put the controller on and it's super easy. But for, for uh, Morrowind, for whatever reason, it doesn't want to just automatically let you use the controller when you log on with it. Aha, that does it. Here we go. Final frickin' Lee. All right. A celebratory smoke ring, shall we? We push it out. Push it out. Push it out. Smoke ring. It's hard to do smoke rings. Come on, punk. Let's do it. Yeah. He's a pretty serious rogue, huh? Yes. Oh no. I did that for no reason. I can't even access his inventory. Oh, that's some bull crap. Oh. Oh, I can't wear the cloak. Now we just have a dead rogue in the street forever? That doesn't make any sense. Ah, oh, Shafui. I can't believe that. Oh, I should have. I, I guess I should have read that in the mob. I, I met. I bet that was in the mod somewhere. I just bet it was. I bet it was listed in the mod. Oh, Shafui. Wasted time going after that cloak, man. Hey, you know what? We increased. We we uh, increased our speechcraft skill, though, didn't we? All right. And we gave ourselves an opportunity to increase our restoration skill. Why not? Okay. We want to go to Vivek, actually. Why walk when you can run? Well, let me tell you why. All right, let me see. What we need, then, this is our first time to Vivek. And there's Saran. There's Pelagiad. We want to go west towards Pelagiad. And I think in doing so, we're going to come across... Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, cool. So it actually just takes the... Just takes the culinary off of it. Some heather. All right, we need gold cannon. So we'll keep our eyes open for that. As we move forward here, we'll get these smoke rings going. Our gold can it sounds or can maybe gold can it sounds just like it says it's a gold flower. Uh, I'm trying to see if that looks like a gold flower from here or if that looks like it is it is a gold flower. Bam. Okay. All right, so I think that was it, right? We had the three. 
Boom, we just need a gold cane it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to recall. Ooh, there's only a 38% chance of casting the spell. So it usually takes four times, and it did. It took four. Okay, boom. And that that's that. We're back to Balmora. We can turn in the... Uh, we can turn in our flower quest. Three missions for the for the Mages Guild, just like that. Boom. Yep, we're gonna have a dead rogue laying there in the street for years to come now. Wow. <laughs> that's, that, honestly, that's a pretty lame part of that mod. We should have at least been able to loot his body and then find that there was no... <gasps> There's a mage in here just reading. Oh, that's cool. Another mage. Oh, cool. Cool, there's just extra mages in here now. Oh, look at you. Oh, wow. That's cool. All right. Oh, another mage is in here reading. Man. Swift hunting, friend. This place has come alive. Get it? Morrowind comes alive? Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Weak joke, weak joke. <laughs> okay. All right, we got it. So that's that. Let's see what else he says. Very sorry. Ajira is much work for these reports, so Ajira can win her bet with Galvir. Maybe you could fetch a new ceramic bowl? I sure can. I have a ceramic bowl. I've been keeping it on me this whole time just for this very reason. I found one. Here it is. And you've got to find your stolen reports. And I know where those stolen reports are. Uh oh. First bit of lag we've experienced. This is the first time I've experienced lag on this one, on this game. Uh, I think it's the laptop heating up. That's what it is. I think it's the laptop overheating, basically, which, which sucks. sucks. Big time. And here I thought it was cold enough today that this wasn't... that we wouldn't even have this problem at all for uh, Morrowind. That's the first time I've had this problem for Morrowind. I've had the problem before plenty of times with... Uh, sugar is yours, friend. With... Um, uh, yeah, I found your stolen reports. Here they are. Oh, both reports. Okay, one is on mushrooms, one was on flowers. Hello, Outlander. I hope you won't take too much of my time. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Where is the other one? Oh. We'll just go ahead and read these. Did we hit two? We did hit two. Okay, cool. I could have sworn that other stolen report was over here. Your actions are so quiet. What do you want? Hey, you. Very interesting, though. I could have swore that that second stolen report was just right there. Let's go check upstairs. Now, all of a sudden, I've got a feeling it's, uh... goblin has got us somewhere. Oh, no, no, no. Up here behind these... Yeah, that's right. Crap. There it is. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Someone was trying hard to win this bet with Galvadir, huh? 
I bet it was Galpadeer. I bet she hired somebody to do her own little snooping to get rid of that. Warm day to you, friend. Yeah, I found another stolen report. There we go. Okay. So, now... There's no advancement option. Which is weird. Help in a fight. Duties. Oh, I need to go to Rainus upstairs. That's right. She's the one who handles my advancement. Well, let's go handle that, shall we? I forgot. Is and that's something you need. Well, um, I was thinking about advancement. Well, well the, the apprentice, apprentice, but there we go, the journeyman. That sounds better. Okay, so the requirements for Evoker, which means I'm going to probably end up having to spend some money on some training. Okay, uh, and in order to do that, I need to go get some of this money from home. Got a ton of money sitting back at the house. I want to say we've got like 3,000 gold. 3,000 septums or drakes just sitting back there. Sorry about that. Let's play some ketchup. Play some ketchup back to where we were. Is that just another mage? And they're walking around with their weapon out. Let me see. Is it just a mage? <gasps> They've got a backpack. It's just a traveler. Oh, man. They got a cool backpack. Super jelly. Super jelly. Maybe I should uh, see if there's a capes and cloaks um, mod. I'm sure there is. For Morrowind. Because seeing everybody else with these backpacks and capes and stuff, it's like, oh man. I want backpacks and capes and stuff. I'd wear a backpack and a cape. Yeah, 3,000 3, gold. Alright, let's see what we need for advancement in the Mages Guild. Intelligence 30, willpower 30. Okay, intelligence and willpower are where they need to be. We need one skill at 30 and two at five. One of these skills needs to be at 30. We've got alchemy at 20. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, it's because... All right, I see, I see. So, so conjuration, conjuration and restoration. restoration. I don't think either one of those count. They don't. So let me see here. Out of our spells. Okay. Alteration is going to be necessary. Alteration and mysticism. Alteration, mysticism, and illusion. All right, so, so let's, let's see. <laughs> Thinking of the conventional part of this, let's uh, go ahead and equip these boots. I'm ready to really book it.
Boom. Something you need? Well, training, but apparently you won't train me. Let's see, see about some training, shall we? Okay, so alchemy, destruction, unarmored. Nope, none of those. Let's take a look at training. Okay, so out of these, mysticism is already sort of high. Let's take a look at what our percentage on Soul Trap is. 43%. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and get this... Uh, this level up in. All right, agility times five, so we have to use that one because it brings it up to 42. Our, our strength, strength is our st affects your starting health, how much you can carry, your maximum fatigue, and how much damage you do in melee. Um, yikes. Endurance and strength for now. We'll call that good. Let's take a look at our health. 48. Okay, that's better than it was, obviously. Okay, you. We need more training. And willpower. Let's bring our mysticism up to who seem worthy of my knowledge okay recall is now 50 percent soul trap is at 65 i can dig that oh man here comes that lag again ugh i keep when when i get the lag from the heat of the laptop, I go down and I turn off. I have a space heater pointed at my feet because it gets cold out in this garage. And I would think that with how cold it is just in the garage, the heat from the space heater wouldn't be affecting it. But heat rises since it's right here at my feet and it rises up. I figure if it's changing the temperature of the laptop, I mean, see, like, see, like, all of a sudden, the laptop's not giving me trouble anymore. See, it's, it's odd. Okay, I'm going to bring up mysticism up to 25. There we go. I don't care for those eyes. Well, you and me both, sister. Okay, now alteration. Right, that's the one we need for, yes, alteration is the one we need for levitate. Okay. You know what? I want to give you, yeah, you're going to like me. Alteration will bring up to 20. Now, let's see. Do we have any chance to levitate? We have an 11% chance to levitate now, guys. Woohoo! All right, clapping. <coughs> um, yeah, all right, okay. I think we still want to... I still think we want to... Okay, wait, 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 wait. We've got those two. Alchemy, if we raise to 30. Same thing with enchant. 
It's so crazy that I set that as one of my higher skills, though. At the same time, these, being that they're minor skills, raising those later is will be a quick way to raise my level. So that just makes it, but it makes it tough to know what I should raise here because we can raise mysticism another five with what we have money wise oh maybe maybe not Shiza oh man and we really should not spend any more hold on Let's take a look. Hold on. Did I do it three times? So mysticism's at 28. One more time would bring it to 29, and then I'd be out of money. So we should... Can we sell anything? Is there anything we can sell? We've got lots of potions now. Hmm. Soul gems we could sell, but that I don't want to, because I want to use them later for mysticism. Uh, all right, let's let's call it good because we'll we'll literally only be getting that to to thirty, right? It'll be just enough for evoker. something I can do for you? Well, you know, no, no, there's not. No, there's not. Rannis. <laughs> okay, so, so then. Let's take a look. We had be a few pages back. Here we go. Nalino Dorvain told me that I, if I want to go to the Sudanic mine, I should start in Alderaan. Okay. I think we want to do that first. Out of the things that um, we can do. So let's do that. Oh, uh... should start at Alderaan. Hold on, I want to take a look at these. Oh, whoops. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Then go south around the town until I see the path between Alderaan and Buckmoth Legion Fort. I should follow this path to Eth until I reach Ghost Fence, then keep to the right until I see the mine. So taking a look at this here. All to run. Buckmoth Legion Fort's about here. There's a pass that goes east. Oh, oh boy. It's it just what it comes down to is that trek. That trek all the way out there. I think we can do it, though. Let's go by the house. We'll drop off the things that we're not going to bring with us on this journey. And we'll switch them out. We'll switch them out for the good stuff. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And, and you know, know what? what? What I have not done is empty these crates. But I'm gonna right now. Because all this junk, it'll still sell for something on our way out of town. Okay, what do I have in here? Weapons and things and stuff. Well, let's put our soldiers in here, too. The ones that have things attached to them, shall we? Okay, there we go. Got rid of those. We have candles that we're not going to bring with us on the journey. Where are we keeping our candles? That's what I'd also like to know. Oh, are they in this bag? They are in this bag. 
paper lantern we'll bring with us. Put those two candles there. Keep the torches, the paper lantern, and the travel lantern. Oh, I knew I was forgetting one. Okay, okay either way. Let's get rid of this stuff first. There we go. Um, now, let's see what else. We want to get rid of our potions. And we're still keeping those in here. So let's see. The cheap restore health we'll keep. Cheap restore magicka. We can keep half of those. There we go. Put these up for when we need them. For when we absolutely know we need them, should I say. Spell absorption. Restore fatigue. We'll keep one of those. We'll put the standard restore magic as away. Okay. So that takes care of that. Okay. Until healed, which also saves it. And we can... Oh, aha! I knew I was forgetting something. There's that other soul gem trying to sneak past me. Okay, and we can sell this junk. And then we can head out. And we will take it to Revere. Because he's a boss. Bam. trust that rogue in your shop just so you know all right i want to get rid of some stuff man Did we get rid of everything we did Wonderful. Anything in here I want to sell to him? Nope, 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 and nope. Okay. Let's ask for 255. Yeah. We can dig it, Revere. Thank you very much, sir. And that pretty much almost gives us enough that we would be able to bring mysticism up to 30. But I think we're going to wait until we're stacked again because um, just the uh, the House Laulu quest line, you know, they're pretty, they're, they're amazing. We've only got a half hour left. I'm going to at least get us to Saran and we'll start in on the journey. We and then, a special trip just for you. And then we will be back. Um, that night. I mean, Alderaan. Aldrin. We'll go to Aldrin. Oof. Okay. Alright, so it makes says to make our way south around the town. <coughs> Which we'll do. And we're looking for the path that lies in between Buckmoth and Aldrin.
which I'm pretty sure is south of the town anyways. If I remember correctly. Oh, see? Man. Torches and stuff like that, they, they, they don't last very long at all. So just my imagination that they last longer in Oblivion and the other ones. An escort. Escort where? Okay. Oh, I'm just dying to hear what you have to say, Brenton. Oh. So I literally only have the one chance to talk to her. That's so irritating to me. Wow. Wow, that is frustrating. Because I want to I want to escort her. I don't want to escort without the proper healing spell. And with 280 gold, I don't have enough on me. Ah, see, and that was before I put away that freaking thing. Darn, darn, darn. Okay. Oh, so frustrating. There we go. Boom. Sell that stuff to Revere. Then we'll auto save it before we before we take off again since we screwed up last time. It's so irritating to me that you only get one chance to escort them. Hey look, there's a lot of man, okay, so this is really cool because they've I feel like they've added so much for the Morrowind comes alive. There's a Halal retainer. How Slalu, yeah. Yeah, we both belong. Am I here to discuss business? You don't even have that as an option. Person. But cool. Halalu retainer, sweet. Alright, let's sell this stuff to Revere and get out of here. Hey, at least you don't have there's a commoner, cool. At least now we don't at least now you don't have a freaking some guy stealing your stuff. I wouldn't trust a rogue in your shop. Uh was there a spoon that I didn't get rid of? No, I got the spoon. Okay. That should be it. Right? Oh, and look, this time he wants to give me 255. Let's bring it up to 260. Let's squeeze him for all he's got. Oh, come on. Shiza. 58? Yeah. Oh, but he, doesn't, he likes me less now. That's not fair. All right. That's so interesting. The little secret was there, and then it disappeared because he doesn't like me enough to talk to me about that. All right. <laughs> oh, I hate this journey south of Aldrin. Doesn't help that I haven't. We make a special trip just for you. Technically Same discovered Buckmoth yet either. Okay, so this time, 
save. We're going to save it as end of day five. This is day five in Morrowind. Okay, and before we even head out, so that way we don't have to tell that lady no, we won't give her an so we don't have to tell her no, we'll see if there's a person in the Mages Guild here that'll let us do spell cra crafting. Nope, that's he just says spells to buy. Spell making, right here. Okay, so restore health on target magnitude. I'm gonna do ten points ten to twenty. Right? On target. Restore health 10 to 20 points on target. Okay, and we'll call it... I'm pretty sure there's already a healing hand spell. I'm going to call this one healing hands anyway. Buy that spell. Bam! What is it? What is it, Mother Sarah? Ah, uh, yes. What is it, Mother Sarah? Practice. Alright, now... We should be able to make this journey. And we're going to go ahead and save it. And we'll use this shitty torch that burns out in like 10 seconds. Just to bring in the next one. I see you off in the distance there. <sighs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I, it's the headphones. That scared the shit out of me. Of course I've, of course I have yellow tick, which decreases my speed and strength, which is exactly what I freaking need, jerks. All right, hold on. Cures and sees on other. Ugh, frustrating. Hey, look, healing hands has a ninety-seven percent chance, and it only costs eleven. That's cool. I can dig that. I can totally dig that. Okay, let's put our weapon away. Ugh. Oh, she won't even talk to me while I'm sick. How frustrating is that? <gasps> Who's this person? Oh, it's... <laughs> After getting attacked by a diseased cow goody, now I'm, now I'm skittish. Alright, shiza. I can't believe that. And I don't have a cure common disease. Oh boy, it is truly too dark for me to see. Wow. Yeah, holy crap. The brightness when it's transmitting it to you guys seems to be a lot better. Let's see about creating another... Let's see about creating another uh, spell. Yes. Spell making. Q 
cure common disease on self. Point cost, 37. Spell chance, 59. We're going to call it the common cold. Do I have enough? I did have enough. All right. Here we go. Here we go. The common cold. 51% chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. 51% because of my... Uh... The blue plates are nice, but the brown ones seem to last longer. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Oh my gosh. There we go. All better. What can I do for you, friend? Sorry, I didn't mean to pull my knife on you guys. Uh hold on. You have things. You have things and stuff. I'm taking these things and stuff. Yes. Yes. Things and stuff. Oh, wait, hey, can we, do you have a bed in here? Could I, I could rest at? Oh, oh, no. What do you ask of me? Frickin' hell, you've got to be kidding me. Just trying to. That is super frustrating. Holy jeez, Louise. <laughs> We're running in circles here now, guys. We're running in circles. Okay, so we're going to get attacked by a diseased cow goody because they're jerks. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't scare me this time because that was super lame. I literally jumped. I jumped. Because it was just like, I feel like I hear something. And then I did. And it was it was a big something. Where you at, yo? Uh-huh, I ain't stupid. Nice. Killed it before I contracted any diseases. Booyakasha. Let's get this over with quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a jerk, lady. Let's get that over with quickly. I will scare you there if I must. Cool. Cool. Alright. So... She wants me to take her to the Ghost Fence Shrine. This is my issue. I have to go east from Buckmoth. Ooh, I hate when it does that. Look at that. It hasn't... Why wouldn't it fill out the map right there? Why? Why? Hey, look, I think it's a signpost. Oh, wait, wait, this is Aldrin. There's Buckmoth. Oh, wait, okay, hold on, wait, 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 I think we're on the... We are, we are totally on the path that we're supposed to. Let's see, one, if we can make it up this hill. Two... If in doing so, we discover Buck Lot Moth Legion Fort. There we go. We did. It's at least listed on there now. Okay, cool. Sorry, we're going to take you right back down here, lady. Sweet. 
All right, and it looks like we'll be walking for about 10 minutes here before we um, before we call it a day. At least for the time being. We're going to get attacked by all manner of cliff racers and cow goody, alits, all that. Okay. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. I feel like any moment we're going to get attacked by things and stuff. Finally, it looks like the road is turning a little more east here. That's good. Here we go. There we go. Boom. Nice. I don't, I don't think she was even hit, so we won't bother with healing her just yet, but we will in a bit, for sure. There we go, finally the road heads east. I can't believe we haven't been attacked by a million cliff racers already. Because those things are annoying as shit. I also find it very interesting that I have a that I was able to find and purchase a to cure common disease on other, but not one that was cure common disease on self. Hey, look, our first cliff racer. Ugh. <laughs> our, our first two. It's a two for one deal. There's one. Of course, the second one's going to come at us after we've passed it because it's a total jerk. Well, we found the ghost fence. Now, now let's hope we come across the ghost fence shrine before we come across the mine we're supposed to go after. A ruffian. Well, all right then. Hello, ruffian. I'll take your arrows. Short bow. Hey, look, a hood. A netch leather quiver. Very interesting. New items, okay. 
Well, all right then. When you said, when I heard I have you, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was our companion attacking someone from somewhere. Um, real quick here, just because I don't trust lots of stuff. I'm going to heal myself, and then I'm going to heal you. There we go. <laughs> I guess I was lucky. I still had my, um... I guess I was lucky I still had my bound longsword out. Uh-huh. Why do I get the feeling this is another ruffian? Oh, whoops. Not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Oh, perfect. I get the feeling this is another ruffian along the road. And if it is, it is. Okay. Ho oh there, traveler. You are aware that this is a toll road? I'm afraid you'll have to pay me a hundred gold pieces, so I can't let you pass. That's the rules. Pfft, get out of my way, fool. Ha! <laughs> Okay, so, this guy does have a black cape that I can access. There's a chitin club, imperial leather boots. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Common ring, we'll take that. Black cotton mask? Wow. Okay. Cliff Racer. Okay. Well, that was pretty cool. Okay, so look, this is what I want to do. I want to take off real quick. I want to I want to see some of this new stuff, man. Got a hood. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Let's take of these imperial leather boots. Those are cool looking. Okay. Black cotton mask. Interesting. That's so weird. Where does it go? I thought it would go over my... Oh, cool. Oh, but it takes it takes my pauldron. So then this must mean that the... Um... Wait, wait, wait. Is it because I have that on? Why can't we see the black cape? There we go. That's why. So it didn't have anything to do with armor. When you have the hood on, you can't see the other stuff. I Now, here's my question. We do. We still have the cape on. Oh, that's cool. You need, like, a real weapon person. Because you are not going to kill cliff racers with a uh, with punches. Well, that's cool. Okay, well, we finally have a cape. 256. We are about a f we're a few minutes away from where I wanted to be, really. So we'll call that good. This is going to end the stream for this afternoon. So I thank you very much for tuning in. Um, if you haven't already, feel free to give me a follow. And um, and if you're really generous and you want to support the channel, you can always subscribe. And I will see you guys later.